Hello again, students. Welcome to another lesson using www.sketchup.com free. This is called Dining Room Movie Set Part 2, and this is where we continue to assemble our dining room movie set with additional elements and details to make it a finished product and put it in perspective view. So without further ado, let's navigate to SketchUp landing page that you see here. Now move to the upper right corner and select the person icon and select my apps. Your objective is to get to the free version of SketchUp. And I'm going to go down here and sketch up for web. And there's the familiar red logo. So the first thing to do is open from Trimble Connect. As if you've been doing this correctly, you've been saving everything in the familiar SketchUp folder. Double click. And then find your dining room movie set. And there are three dots here in the bottom right corner. So select and open. And this is the room I want. <clears throat> uh, I insist that you put this in parallel project projection. So you go to the scenes tab, select parallel projection, and then put it in front view. That's the house with the big black door on it. So you can look at it from straight from the front view. And then you're going to go to the upper left with the three lines and insert from Trimble Connect. Don't forget, SketchUp folder. Find your dining room table assembly and then insert as component. And wait a moment until it appears and try to zoom in a bit to make sure that it lands securely on the floor and then click. I recommend then you could <clears throat> select this upper left arrow here and then off to the side to deselect. Um, zoom out a bit and let's rotate it and see how it is positioned. As you can see, it's not necessarily in the room, so I'm going to look at it from top view. I'm going to use the arrow key to reselect the component, which is the whole assembly there. And I'm going to use the move tool because I want to push everything to, into the far corner. That's where the focus of this is. This is a movie set. You're not going to want to see the edges of the roof or the floor on the final scene. So again, you can orbit and look at it, make sure it's positioned correctly. Maybe use the pan tool. I'm constantly recentering to get a better view. Now I'm going to go to the 3D warehouse. And that's the fourth tool down on the right. It's an open box looking icon. <clears throat> and right here, traditionally in the dining room, you'll find a china cabinet. So I'm going to put Type that in, China Cab Inlet, and then select it. And don't forget to use the Models tab so you can find China Cabinet. And this appears to be one of traditional nature, and it matches what I've already created. So I'm going to select it and download. And there it is. It popped right into my scene. So I'm placing it in the room. And again, look at it from front view. Zoom in closely. Make sure that it's right on the floor. It appears to be perfectly on the floor. However, if I look at it from top view, I can see that it's it needs to be rotated 90 degrees. So I'm going to use the third, actually second tool down under the move tool is the rotate tool. Maybe click the bottom left corner and the upper right corner. Click and rotate it 90 degrees. Seems to have snapped into position. Now I go back to the move tool on the left. It's the four arrow move tool and position it very close to the wall, but not against the wall. And then right next to my door. Now, because we've been modeling in the correct realistic sizes, everything that uh, you should be able to bring in from the 3D warehouse will be probably the approximately accurate size that you want. You may have to scale objects in a little bit to make them aesthetically pleasing. Uh, the next objective maybe would be to add a chandelier. Now, a technique that I use because I'm notoriously a poor speller is to type in chandelier here in Google to make sure that I have the right spelling, select and copy. 
and then go back here to the 3D warehouse and control V to paste it in your chandelier and use the models tab again to find chandeliers that you may like. Um, <clears throat> it depends the type of look you're looking for. Are you looking for a modern style? Are you looking for a traditional style? Um, I happen to like, I feel like I saw one up here on, that I prefer. This one here. Now I'm going to download. But you're the designer. This is design and modeling. I want you to think in terms of aesthetics. Now I'm going to look at this from top view. And as you can see, it's, it's got to be positioned over my table. And I'm going to rotate it. Your positioning and your rotations are your design. And I'm rotating it this way. I'm going to put the larger of the two chandeliers. And it looks like it's a little off. Try that again. Good. And then click. Let's see if I can snap it into position. There we go. <clears throat> now I'm going to look at it from front view. It looks like it may be slightly low. Um, I'm going to bring it up. And now I'm going to look at it from right view. And it looks like it should be positioned slightly to the left. And I think that may be good. So use the arrow key and select off to the side to deselect it because you don't want it to move. And there are a variety of different things that you can add. Possibly a wall clock, maybe another window, maybe another piece of art, maybe a plant in the corner or a lamp. I recommend that you add as whatever it is, possibly even a kitchen cart. I'm going to attempt to look at a kitchen cart to see what that is. Oops. Kitchen cart. And look under. This is what I was thinking right here, kitchen cart. Uh, and possibly bring it into the scene. And then look at it front view, make sure that it's situated on the floor look at it from top view i feel like i want to rotate this and we're create, trying to create a natural effect so in this case i may not want to have it perfectly straight maybe off to this angle a bit and again position it maybe a little bit away from your table maybe close to the door the butler just brought it in um, so again Use the arrow key, click to the blue area and deselect. Use the orbit tool, make sure things look proper. Now, the final set. Move to the scenes tab and put it in perspective view. Don't be alarmed if it gets a little large or small. You just zoom in and center it with the pan tool. <clears throat> and then um, you may want to use shadows shadows will definitely make it look very pleasing and then you can adjust the time and see if you can get a bit of a dramatic effect on your eh, not necessarily getting the exact look that i want looking at it again Well, you'll have to play around with the shadows. But in the end, <clears throat> what I want you to do is zoom in. You need to get a more detailed shot. And again, you can reuse the pan tool to get into position, possibly rotate it using that orbit tool, and then pan tool, bringing my scene into focus. Getting it close. Show the details. It's your world. It's a beautiful image now. So now that the dining room is complete, save. It says saving. As you can see, dining room movie set. It may take a minute. Now that it's saved, go up to the upper left where the three lines are. Don't forget this step. Export as PNG. 
Don't forget to click the blue button. Export as PNG. And there it says in the bottom left, Dining Room Movie Set PNG. That is evidence that it's in my downloads folder. I'm going to click and navigate to my downloads folder. And there it is, Dining Room Movie Set. Double click. It opens in Paint as I've set it. And that would be the final image that you turn in for credit on this assignment. I hope this helps. Good luck.